What we know about addiction today is very different than what we knew about addiction many, many years ago. Uh, many years ago, we thought about addiction as a character flaw or a weakness, that if somebody was just strong enough or good enough, um, they could overcome. And what we now understand about addiction as a disease of the brain, of the reward circuit in the brain, uh, to where people with the disease of addiction have a disproportionate response or a different response to drugs than people who do not have addiction, making them much more likely to, to get hooked on these drugs and much more likely to uh, get damaged in terms of the consequences in their lives. There are lots of reasons why those things occur. Um, some of it may be based on your uh, genetic characteristics, that you may be born with certain risks if you came from a family that, that, uh, where addiction was prevalent or something else that's going on that we may not completely understand that's affecting this part of your brain. If you have strep throat, you go to the doctor and you uh, get treatment for that and you take pills, antibiotics for a period of time and then you've essentially cured the strep throat and you move on with your life. Uh, addiction is much more like a chronic disease. It's much more like having uh, you know, a, a long-term heart condition or diabetes where the appropriate course is to simply manage the disease over the course of your life. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot that can be done for people with addiction these days, for people dealing with it. Uh, there's a lot of external support. Uh, there are a lot of people who have recovered successfully. Uh, even though you may not feel that there's hope for you, uh, there's absolutely hope. There are so many stories of positive stories of recovery where people have been able to recover their lives from very, very difficult, desperate circumstances. I think it's possible that someday we actually uh, can cure the disease of addiction, just like many other diseases. Uh, today, I think the best treatments that we have are, uh, there's are certainly medication that can help addiction, and there's lots of therapies that can help addiction. You know, just like if you work with depression, you can go and talk to a therapist and get assistance that helps you deal with your depression at the same time that you may also take medication. Those decisions, the right decision, is really based on the individual needs of the patient and should be uh, determined in consultation with, uh, with the doctor, the care provider.